Well, I'm back home. <coughs> Strange enough, it seems that uh, two buildings down, there was a another coin and currency store. So I stopped in there, and lo and behold, they had some junk. But let me just go over what's going on here. I got, for all that change, this 28... 31 I had two dollars and ninety cents in bottles and the lottery ticket was 12 bucks so that's what I had to go play with today unfortunately they didn't have a lot of junk but I was able to pick up a 1964 Kennedy silver a 1950 Washington and five more kind of nice Mercury's it's a little dark because it's night now but that's not too bad I ended up paying $27.57 it's four dollars and ninety-nine cents over current melt value I, hopefully that's reasonable like I said I don't do spot that much or junk bullion junk silver but, so my junk pal has grown a little bit and uh, so now I got two quarters. Well, actually, I start the top. We got a fifty cent. I'd like to get a a um, Benjamin Franklin fifty cent piece, but the the first store I went to, all they had was new new numismatic value coins. And they wanted like friggin' twenty four, twenty five dollars for a coin. That would have blown my whole budget. But there it is. That's my total junk now. It's kind of exciting to collect junk. He, the second store did have a couple of barber dimes, but they were almost what you would call slicks. So I stuck with the Mercuries because I really like the looks of the Mercuries. And I've actually found some uh, bullion that has a Mercury symbol uh, like a, the dime does on both sides. And I might pick up just one or so. But, there you go. That was my fun day while it was raining out. Picking up junk silver, riding around. Alright, keep on stacking, and I'll talk to you later. Oh yeah, before I forget. I went to my daughter's house, and she went to England. Oh, a year or so ago. And she said she had a bunch of foreign coins. So, I said, oh, let's take a look at them. Lo and behold... He has a Canadian one dollar from 1963. I'm trying to see that through the lens here. Yeah, it's a 1963. And uh, I did the magnet test, and it doesn't attract. I looked at the edge. And that's not showing anything, so it it could be silver. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up, see what it is. I haven't even done that yet. I was just excited to look at my junk silver, which I thought I never would do, but it is kind of fun to collect because it's so inexpensive, or well, at least it is to me. I'm used to buying bullion or silver dollars, so you know that's. Oh, just a little bit more, because if I spent twenty six twenty five and eleven bucks, that's thirty seven fifty or so. That's with tax for for that right there. So it's probably over. I checked melt value. Melt value today, what I got was like twenty one fifty, and uh, add in the other five dimes, like eight fifty for that. So. 
almost $30 in junk silver at melt value. Uh, I don't really think it has any new, new magic, new magnistic value. Well, I'll tell you what, one of these days I'll get that word right for you guys. When I do, I'll be happy. Anyways, that's my update. I'll get back to you on this coin. Like I said, I don't know how much silver's in it, but the magnet doesn't stick. I don't want to test it. I should be able to find out how much it's worth online. All right. Talk to you later. Keep on stacking.